All right, good morning. It's a special Thursday. Sometimes you gotta miss school to make these vlogs funner. Right now, I just left school. I'm going to go see a director in North Hollywood, a film director. Indie film director, he's part of the AFI Film Institute, which is pretty big. And I got this connection from the White House Film Festival when I met Obama, you know? It's nice to see my, uh, my little partner, my actor, Xavier. It's just nice to collab back with my homie. We're going to uh, the director's house, David Pearson. Tita Susan. Oh, hi. <laughs> Finally, it's been a journey trying to meet this guy because we tried to see him during the summer, back in July. First meeting with them. How was it like acting in the my film, The World I Want to Live In? It was good, and it was a good experience. And we made it to the White House. So now we're back collabing for the next uh, short film or feature. Get Shrek. Dude. <laughs> Emoji. All right, so Stranger Things is like, what do you call it? Our favorite show. Isn't it crazy just that we saw Eleven in the White House? In your school, everybody talks about Stranger Things. It's crazy. How many followers on your vlog? So we got the Sundance Award, Audience, Student Academy Award for his film, All the Voices. <laughs> it's David Jerson. Say what's up. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> and in this bit of Aristotle's Poetics, 3,000 years ago, the basic rules of great storytelling applies wow. then as it does apply today. So when we think about making good movies, you want to think about how people have been telling stories. I like to surround myself. I like to have these around so that I can look. And Gustave Doré. You know, you just can sit here and look at these amazing images that were made over centuries and say, okay, well wait, how would that movie look? And what's the story of that? Find the story that I want to tell by looking through that. Authentic, true stories of people. There's a book called The Americans by Robert Frank. Wow. And he just does these really authentic portraits of Americans. So I like to look at these sometimes and say, okay, well, what's the story of this guy? 35 or 16? 35 millimeters. Wow. One of the extra prints I was made of the film. He shoots in film, guys. <laughs> Legend. So the pictures are on there. Mm -hmm. see wow. Let's ruin it. Ruin it. Ruin it. So we see there's three different pictures there. And on the film, you have 24 frames per second. 9, 10, 23. Cheers. Leftover from the movie Jurassic World. Wow. So the AFI, I was able to yeah. get this leftovers. They didn't use it to make the movie, so we got to use it. From the 60s, is it from like your parents or? <laughs> no, I bought this uh, flea market for 10 bucks. Still works, yeah, I shot part of that movie on it. I have too many people voices in my head. <laughs> yeah. So by the time I go to the screen, it's like, well, which one is it? And it's like, you have to throw everything away and just totally be yourself. And the retro list. When you go to film school, they will yeah. show you all the weirdest movies ever. Like, mm -hmm. they will show you international movies, obscure art house movies. It's nice meeting you guys. <laughs> nice director. to meet you. Wait, so, nice introduce nice yourself. I'm like, Olive Colander, director and writer, and married to David Henry Grayson. Awesome. It's a director family. You know? Director family. Exactly. Xavier. In the future, if you become an actor, it is your house. All right, this is like the view you're gonna be looking at. Yeah, there's a half one, two, three. 